Sorry, God. No more rain, no more lightning, no more thunder, and perfect peace. And Peter says, Lord, if, if that's really you, I'd like to walk on the water. And you just saw a man tell the water, tell everything to stop. And now you're going to ask him? <laughs> if you're really God, then prove it to me. What did I just do, dummy? Right. Amen? Amen? I just proved it by stopping the water and the lightning and the thundering and the waves. Right. right. Amen. That's right. But you want to prove that, I, that I'm the God. Okay, I'll tell you what. I like to walk on the water. That's what I <clears throat> So guys, the Lord Jesus said, go ahead, take a stroll. If he goes out there. Them other uh, 11 apostles are all looking, going, look at Peter go. He's walking on water. I would be doing that. I mean, uh -uh. I'd drown. Amen. I ain't got that much faith. But Peter's walking on, on water. He's walking on water. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, Peter realizes, I'm walking on water. And he begins to sink in the Lord, and he says, Lord, help me. Mm -hmm. And Jesus reaches out his hand, puts him in the boat, and he says, Oh, ye of little faith. He got on to Peter. He didn't get on to the other 11. He got on to Peter. Mm -hmm. He said, Why didn't you trust me? You asked me to stop the storm. You asked me to stop the lightning. You asked me to stop the wind. You asked me to stop the rain. You asked me if you could walk on water. I gave everything that you asked for. And some little old, you look down and you're standing on water. And then you realize the miracle's being done and you begin to sink. Or said, mm -hmm. Oh, ye of little faith. How much faith you got? Mm -hmm. How much faith? How much faith? How close are you to? Mm -hmm. How much faith you got? God needed that mediator stand between God and man and make a deal. And the deal was Jesus dies mm -hmm. and everybody that accepts Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and asks for forgiveness of their sins can go to heaven. He said, that's it. He said, but I got a better deal. Not only can you have that one, I got door number two you can have. Mm -hmm. And you can get as close Amen. to me as Amen. you want. Amen. And I got door number three that you can have. You can have it where you can have the faith to be able to walk mm -hmm. and do the impossible that God can do the impossible <laughs> through you. Mm -hmm. He says, I got all these doors. Amen. But the first one is salvation. The second one is fellowship. Mm. You know, I got a buddy of mine. His name is Mike Dangerfield. Mm. Me and Mike known our, we've known ourselves uh, ever since the kids were little. Good friend. And uh, he pretty much do anything I want. I could trust him with my secrets. He could trust me with his secrets. And we would walk this Christian life. We didn't always meet together. We weren't always together. Sometimes it'd be years. But he was always my friend. That's the way God wants to be with you. He doesn't want you in the cheap seats. He wants you to get as close as you can. Amen. 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 
He wants you to get as close as you can. I would go to these, uh, of course I wouldn't say that they done, but I, I, at that time I would go to certain events. And it always made me mad because the people that had the money always bought the good tickets. And they were dead as a doorknob because these were rich snobs. <laughs> rich snobs. Oh, that's such a lovely song. Lovely. And the people that paid the cheap seats said, rush the stage. It didn't matter if we went to jail. It didn't matter whatever. The next thing you knew, we was up in the front. And this guy is sitting down over here. I paid $200 for this chair. <laughs> I paid $29.99. What do you think about that? And I'm in front of you. And blocking your view. So sit down. 